I have a brassy midge, uh, which is called uh, in some places a South Platte brassy. A guy, Gene Lynch, was the gifted fly tire who invented uh, this fly. It is an absolutely exceptional fly. Uh, really lightweight, very, very easy to tie. Uh, tends to be uh, pretty durable. And so, basically, uh, I'm using a Dairiki number 270 size 20 hook. You can use uh, pretty much any hook you feel comfortable with. Um, it's also recommended a, a, a Timco 101 or a Dairiki 310, which is kind of just your normal bend and straight shank hook with a straight eye. Size 18 to 24. I'm tying it at size 20. Um, I like the smaller flies. There's a lot of pressure out here in Colorado for fishing, and so the smaller it is, the better. So 20, 22, 24, even down to 26, if you're brave enough. So the thread we'll be using, I'm just using some black thread. The abdomen is just copper wire, and um, I'm using brassy, so it just kind of helps show the segments a little bit more, but you can use fine wire, uh, small wire, extra small wire, kind of whatever you have. And you can really tie these in whatever color you want. Red, green, blue, black, um, brown. I'm using a copper brown wire, uh, just because I really, I like the, the color and how it looks in the water. For the thorax of the fly, um, any sort of uh, dubbing that you'd like to use in a gray or a black, or in some cases, if you'd like, you can use peacock curl. Uh, in my case, I'm using ice dubbing, it's a UV. Dubbing, it's my absolute favorite dubbing to use. And so as you can see, this is this is what the fly looks like. Um, really fun fly, very easy to tie. Uh, can frustrate people because of the nature of um, how, how the wire's tied on. And so I'll talk about that. But again, this is a brassy midge, or a South Platte brassy. And so here's my hook. Remember, number 270, size 20, Dairiki hook. And so my thread, I'm going to go ahead and start my thread here, right behind the eye, give it a couple good wraps, keep it held in place, snip off the tag. Now, there's a couple options you can do here. Okay, option one, um, you tie in the wire. Let's see here. Get it tied in. And um, option one, you... You run, run the thread all the way back, all the way forward, and then you do the wraps and you tie off the wire in the front. Now that creates a, a bigger abdomen, like a thicker abdomen, and sometimes that is good depending on what the flies are looking like that are coming out during the particular hatch that you're fishing or in the winter or wherever it may be. But the way I really like tying this is a nice, slim, even, slender body. If you run the wire down, you're going to have one side that bulges out a little bit more than the other. So basically, I just tie the wire directly to the hook shank. And so you can see I have it tied in. So we're going to go ahead and start here. Oops. There you go. Rookie mistake, right? Then uh, didn't tie, tie the wire in tight enough. Not to worry. So thread's just going to stay here right behind the eye. I'm going to do a, a soft wrap or two here. And once we get started... Keep it nice and tight, not too tight, otherwise you pull it out. Like, I don't know, some crazy fly tires out there, they tend to pull the wire out. But uh, go ahead and wrap, consecutive wraps, one right after another. Take it all the way as far down the shank as you want. I try to, to end it right above the barb. I just like ending my flies a little bit going down the bend. So this is a natural curve hook. This isn't kind of just your, your standard hook, uh, so it kind of has a natural bend to it, so I don't need to go down the bend. And so when you get when you get to this point, or wherever you feel comfortable with, we're going to helicopter the metal wire off. So we're going to pull it tight, just begin to spin it, and uh, it pops off, just like that. Now, I'm using, as I said, the ice UV black dubbing, and so just a nice little little bit you do not do not need a lot of this you can see it sitting on my fingertip there there's not a lot and you'll see what it looks like once I tie it in so get that in place and start wrapping 
build up the head here like so look at that oh lovely so have the head built take the whip finishing tool a couple wraps right behind the eye finish off the thread with a nice little snip of the scissors now this fly will get hammered so you want to make sure that you seal it really well so I've got some gloss coat head cement with a nice little applicator here and so basically I'm gonna run it all down the back and then I'm gonna take some of the excess off the back and run it on the underside just basically to glue that wire in place a little bit of excess that I have avoid the eye but hit where I knotted with the whip finisher and that's it that's really it it's nice and simple the glue you can see there's a little excess you can uh, hit it with your finger pop it off or just kind of let it let it dry you can also use a UV coating on this if you want um, you can use whatever color wire you want you can just have a lot of fun with them but this is an incredibly effective fly and I would say absolutely a uh, worst case scenario tie it into size 18 um, size 20 22 24 kind of those three 20 through 24 good sizes to tie and um, just a great uh, great all-around fly tie some with some brighter colors some with some duller colors and then I what I encourage people to do when they're out on the river is um, buy a seine uh, which is a, a mesh netting that fits over your net and then uh, just kind of you know kick up some Pick up some muck around some rocks and then uh, allow it to pass through the seine and or find a, a spot of water that's moving a little bit quicker and uh, just kind of hold it there for a little bit and then pick it up and look and see and you're, you're going to find all sorts of different midge larvae and mayfly larvae and later on in the season some caddis you'll see stonefly you'll see scuds you'll see aquatic worms you'll see all kinds of fun things so being able to see what's in the water and what's actually being fed on by the fish is going to give you a much better chance of landing that fish that you see and even sometimes the fish that you don't see in the water so this is just a great go-to pattern of mine um, I really enjoy it a lot of fun to tie really easy brassy midge so hope you've enjoyed <laughs>